Hi, hi, hello everyone. Hi, I hope you can hear me. I'm here in Woodchester Lake near Stroud in Gloucestershire and I've just found this in the water and I want to show you more about it. It's absolutely fantastic. Let me show you a bit more detail of it. So here I am out of the water and I've got our guy here to show you up close. This is just such an incredible find. I literally had no idea that we had mussels this size in the UK and not just that but mussels from freshwater lakes. Um, and this is called the swan mussel. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's just just such an incredible uh, discovery and um, um, a beautiful detail which I'll point a bit closer. I'm just gonna zoom in on this guy a bit more now um, to show you um, and, and tell you a bit more about what he's about. So there we are and as I was trying to point out to you there is that particular ridge here where the shell is attached which actually isn't coming out in this particular light quite so dramatically but looking at it uh, with my own eyes it's actually just completely metallic reflective silver and uh, that is a, just such an incredible almost kind of like mother of pearl like a uh, little bit of detail here and you can see you know this is a really sizable individual so um, I, I found this guy just in the water here just by the edge and um, um, they, they live in a specific uh, lakes where actually they rely I think on five a species of fish so if one of those fish species are present in the lake um, the um, swan mussel will uh, uh, have the possibility to thrive and um, I'm just on the camera around again uh, to tell you a bit more about its habits so basically um, it lives at the bottom of the lake and um, it usually buries itself uh, under the silt and throws out two little um, tubes and one of the tubes is pumping uh, water from the lake and oxygenating itself and um, uh, also filtering that water through its gills um, to feed from and it's got a second tube a bit narrower that pushes water out of its system once it's done with it and the, the marvelous thing about uh, these guys is that um, they are um, um, uh, well it, the female basically lays eggs which she keeps in her gills and um, the male through its tube I believe uh, expels um, uh, the the sperm and the sperm kind of like becomes ambient in the local water and the female with her tube is going to suck some of the sperm up and they will fertilize her eggs in that way and once her eggs are fertilized she propels them out into the water and they are going to drift around uh, with the currents until those eggs um, uh, which um, actually hatch into a um, uh, kind of like larva type creature so the larva is just going to drift around um, the water until it finds a host and the host could be uh, one of five fishes including the brown trout and um, it will it will burrow itself up just beneath the fish skin and feed from mucus um, coming from the fish skin and once that larva has done the feeding that it needs to do and um, is ready to become a, a, an adult swan mussel it drops off the fish and 
carries on its life as an adult and repeats the cycle. So totally wonderful, fascinating thing and just an incredible, incredible nature spot. I'm so thankful for uh, this bit of um, heat we've had here in the UK. So I've been able to swim and explore and discover. And that's a goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye from both of us. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.